So this is her. She really is. I just don't know anymore. What am I supposed to do? What? I can't take this anymore. Someone please, stop me. Kai, I didn't know you were in here. How does she look? Has she woken up at all? N no I'd better go. I've got something I need to do. Seriously, is she okay? She seems really out of it. I'm back, Kai. Thanks for keeping an eye on... Well, this is quite a crowd. Are you all here to visit the Sleeping Beauty? Doctor... Has she not woken up yet? I'm afraid she's been unconscious since you brought her in. No signs of injury or atrophy, though. She looks fairly young. She might be exhausted simply from the stress of stowing away on a military ship. I recommend we let her rest for a little while longer. A stowaway, huh? I wonder if she's one of the civilians we had on board. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I counted on myself! 21 on and 21 off! You think she's been here all by herself ever since we dropped off those refugees? I don't know. I'll have to ask her when she wakes up. Whatever the case, we have no idea why she's on board. The captain will have to talk to her. Or... interrogate her. Interrogation? She's a little girl! We don't have a choice. We know someone leaked our cruiser's route to the enemy. You think this girl's an Imperial spy? You're joking! Not to worry. I'll look after her during the questioning. I won't let her come to any harm. <sighs> if you say so, Doctor. By the way, it feels like we haven't been picking up speed. How are the engines doing? <sighs> Not good. The main reactor has completely shut down. The Navy guys are all doom and gloom, too. Talking about how the mission's gonna be impossible like this. Bunch of wusses. Don't be so hard on them. They know the ship and its limits better than you do, after all. To be quite honest, I feel the same way. At this rate, I highly doubt we can complete the mission as planned. You too, Doc? <sighs> We're out of the crevasse. The Centurions set a new course for our destination, but our main reactors are still disabled. The ship can barely maintain a third of its maximum speed. The Sea Fortress is in our way too. We're closing in. An Imperial base on the Crystal Sea with unbreakable fortifications. Countless artillery emplacements. Captain Morgan knows the risks. Nevertheless, he set a course for the fort instead of bypassing it. No one on board can say for sure whether the Centurion will make it past its so-called unbreakable defenses. And even if we do, will we have enough left in us to make it to the capital? We're short on supplies, on manpower. I can tell everyone's thinking the same thing. This is our last chance to turn back. We can't keep this up much longer. How can we get through when we're moving at a crawl? <laughs> Look at him now. They sure talked a big game back when we just set off, huh? I think the doctor had a point, though. They have a far better grasp of naval warfare and the ship's capabilities than we do. They probably know better than anyone how risky it is to launch an attack like this. Come on, don't tell me you guys are backing down, too. We didn't lose that many people and go through all that crap just to quit now, right? We did it so we can wipe out those imp bastards. You know that, right? We can't just give up. <sighs> Raz, to tell you the truth, I agree with the doctor. What? This isn't just risky. It might be impossible. I even spoke out against the captain's decision to keep going. But... I've already made up my mind. I've decided to fight to the very end, for the Centurion and everyone on it. I won't let them sink this ship. We're going to reach the capital. We will make Operation Cygnus a success. 
We've sacrificed too many friends to give up now. Claude. <laughs> That's good enough for me. We got this, Claude. Still, there's no denying the situation has the crew uneasy. With morale this low, it'll be hard to fight as a team. Who cares about those spineless Navy jellyfish? We're Rangers, and we... No, we can't do this alone. We're in the middle of the Crystal Sea. If we want this to work, we're gonna need their skills. We have to unite as one. Otherwise, we'll never make it across the ice. Unite, huh? So what's your plan? I just have to go around one by one and try to lift their spirits ourselves. We want to take down the Empire. That's true for all of us. God, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass. Ah, oh, well. Not like I've got anything better to do. I'll help you out. I'll talk to the female soldiers then. I can probably relate to them better than you guys. To reach the Imperial Capital, we'll have to find some way past the fort with minimal losses. That means it's more important than ever to be prepared. About that, Captain. I'm sorry to report that the crew's starting to get uneasy. As it stands, trying to push past the Sea Fortress would be incredibly reckless. Even then, we might not be able to take the capital. Some think we should retreat while we still can. It's just rumblings for now. But if morale dips any lower, mutiny may not be far off. <sighs> I can certainly understand that position. This must look dire indeed to the rank and file. But loose lips sink ships. We cannot disclose our plan. Agreed, sir. But for now, we need to resolve this before it becomes a crisis. I heard an interesting piece of information myself, you know. And what would that be, sir? A small group has been lifting spirits through the ship, attempting to convince the dissidents one by one. Who would attempt? I'm sure you can guess. It's Squad E. I propose we give Mr. Claude Wallace a chance to find a satisfactory resolution. Leave the heavy lifting to those who are young and on their first pair of legs. As for an old sailor like me, well, I will wait and see. Kraz, Riley! Oh, hey, Claude. How'd it go? <sighs> Not great. Everyone's fear is getting the best of them. So what if we have to go hungry for a while? We've eaten grass, frogs. We can manage, can't we? It's a different mindset here. We can adapt on land, but out at sea, our fate is tied to the ships. I don't think that's gonna help convince them. Well, fine. If those chump buckets don't like it, they can take a long walk off a short plank. Losing manpower would hurt our chances even more. I know that, damn it! But everyone here wants to take down the Empire. We're united by that much, right? What the hell? Why aren't they listening to us? Oh, hey, where's Kai? I asked if she wanted to help, but she seemed really... I don't know... distracted? She said something about having to do rifle maintenance and to go on without her. Damn it! We're trying to convince hundreds of people here. She may be cranky, but we could use the help. She's been acting really weird lately. Kai's probably dealing with her own issues. Whatever is going on with her, we still have work to do. Come on, Raz. Yeah, all right. I'm coming. What can we do? Damn you, Claude. I thought you were up to one of your usual schemes. Given up already? Minerva. I haven't given up. It's just... I don't know what to say to the others. I feel like I have to say something to bring us together and raise morale, but I can't find the right words. <laughs> if you can't do the job, I could take your place. 
Maybe that would be for the best. <laughs> you absolute imbecile! <laughs> The right words? I thought you had a spine, but I suppose I've overestimated you again. You think a motivational speech will win this war? I didn't pass up a promotion for you to just talk. You're here now because of your intelligence, your wit. No matter what you faced, you found a way through. You led your squad through each and every victory. You already have what it takes to get this crew to fight for you. And it damn well isn't your way with words. Minerva. You have one thing I don't. You didn't lead your friends to their deaths. I will not tolerate failure. If you want to prove yourself, do it through action, not words. Action. Right. You're exactly right. Thank you, Minerva. I feel like some kind of fog is lifted in my mind. <laughs> I suppose you just needed a good impact to knock it loose. Wait. Fog. That's it. Fog. Why didn't I think of this sooner? Pardon? Thank you, Minerva. I wouldn't have figured it out without you. Excuse me. I have to see the captain. Well, whatever's gotten him so worked up, at least he's come to a decision. Honestly, he really is an imbecile. What the hell's going on? What's with the assembly? What do you think? The army boy with a stick up his ass, here to give a big, inspiring speech. Hey, Kai! What you doing over there? <sighs> hey, seriously. What's going on? Everyone, I apologize for how sudden this is. I'd like to propose a new plan to get past the Sea Fortress. Just hear me out. The core of their defenses is their high-powered artillery. We'll have to neutralize that first. The plan is to use air balloons to drop troops in from above and seize control of the emplacements. At the same time, the Centurion will make a frontal assault and charge directly toward the fortress. What? Soon, a dense fog is going to cover the entire fort. That'll be our chance to infiltrate it. The wind should be steady enough for balloons, even in the fog. Visibility won't be good, but we can land on target. I've already received the captain's approval. We just have to get ready, and when the time comes... Wait, the captain actually approved this? Yes, he did. Are you insane, Claude? How could you think this is a good idea? How could the captain sign off on it? You want to drop us into a fort? We're barely equipped! How can we take out the artillery like this? We won't even have a secure escape route. And you're just going to send the ship charging forward? A head-on firefight won't do us any good. Even if we win, it'll be a Pyrrhic victory. The losses would be too much. We'd have no chance of taking the capital. My plan's the most realistic option we have. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Brass? I was just thinking I wanted to let off some steam been cooped up in this goddamn ship for too long anyway. They're so proud of their heavy artillery, huh? I want to see their faces when I break it in half! But... Those of you willing to fight, come with me. I'll explain the op in more detail. Count me in! If we turn back now, we'll be the laughing stock of the Federation. Damn right! The Centurion can make it through anything! All right, and let's do this. Nice assist there, Raz. <laughs> well, it was enough to get a compliment out of you. <sighs> so that's the Marine base we're going after. The fog hasn't rolled in yet, but shouldn't be long now. Oh, look! From the north! Wind talk comes through for us again. Okay. Everyone ready? Let's go. Wait! Claude! Miles. Are you really going through with this? This plan is completely insane! It's suicide! 
Are you that scared of death? I'm a soldier, Claude. I'm not afraid to die if I have to. I am. Huh? I'm scared. Not just for myself. I'm always afraid that my friends are gonna get hurt or killed. Then why are you... Because I'm not alone. <sighs> I'd be too afraid to do it alone. But if I've got everyone behind me, I know we can do it. Reminding myself that we're all in this together gives me the strength to do the impossible. Isn't that how we made it through all our battles? Claude. Time to go. We have our next mission. how dangerous this mission will be, so I wish you and your squad the best of luck. Take out the cannons before they can open fire on the Centurion. Let's go, everyone! All right, looks like a safe landing. Is everyone okay? Not what I call a running start. Well, this was our first para drop in actual combat. I figured it wouldn't go perfectly. We can use this to our advantage. We can act as decoys for each other and confuse the enemy. Head to the artillery and pick your route carefully. This fog really is dense. If I move carefully, I might be able to sneak in closer. Fortress is still on high alert. 
know we're here. Watch out for enemy counterattacks. Keep moving to the artillery. Get killed. Shit! There goes our trench! You won't feel a thing. Banner? All set. Here. Well done. Yes. 
advancing. Target can have Artillery. Silence, sir. We've passed the first checkpoint right on time. Oh, they managed to pull it off. All that's left is the last gate. Captain Wallace, I'll count on you. Keep going. Well Medic! We're getting you out. You're gonna be okay. Keep it together. Medic! I won't let you die. Keep it together. A hot drink would really...
everyone's watching. Show us your resolve. What's the situation on the turret? You're being targeted. Watch my back. Watch my back. Don't let me get away. Don't hold me back. I believe in you, Captain Wallace. Knowing you're on our side makes me feel just a little... Okay, let's go. Choices. second heavy artillery is still functional. At this rate, it's gonna seek this Centurion. Take it out, now! Okay, let's go! Got it! ships heading this way!
can hear me roar. I look up like this. <laughs> You're being targeted. Enemy artillery shows no signs of firing, sir. We've passed through the Sea Fortress successfully. We've done it! Claude, you've done it! You've done a fine job, Mr. Wallace. Just as I knew you would. It's our turn now. Storm the fortress and rescue the infiltration team! You're all insane. This whole operation is insane. The only reason the infiltration worked was because we got lucky. If you'd rather hide here and tell yourself that, you're welcome to stay. <sighs> but whatever your choice, make it one you won't regret. There's only one question you need to ask yourself. Decide what's important to you and make it quick. Enforcements should be joining the fight. They'll cover us while we escape. Let's move! shot. Bullseye. Oh, did you fall for me? Target eliminated. Keep up the good work. Moving out. The enemy has begun their counterattack. There. Calm down. We need some press.
can do this. We have to do this. Can't run. All right. Target eliminated. Keep up the good work. Engaging. Enemy spot. Let's take him out. I believe I can in you, Captain see Wallace. Straight. Understood. Keep firing! Enemies. Over there. Going down! Enemy down. Pretty good. Understood. attack. I will see this through. Beat this! Can't run! I don't think so. Cupid spotted. Where is he? Let's take him out. We can't get past this. It's over. Cut. Commencing attack.
I believe in you, Captain Wallace. Let's go, everyone! If the cold doesn't get Let's go! <laughs> Enemies below! Let's take him out! Sure! Let's go! Take care not to slip on the fresh fall of snow! Engaging! Don't get reckless! On to the next! I see. They're good. Target the enemy ship! Over there. There! Enemy down. Target eliminated. Keep up the good work. We can outlast them in this cold. I found the enemy. Do this. You're being targeted. What's this? Let's keep going. I see. They're good. I am woman, hear me roar. Target eliminated. Keep up 
the good work. Hear me roar. Time out. That was Let's go, everyone. Let's go. <laughs> I can do this. All true. Please report your status. Attack. Enemy spot. Let's take him out. Gotcha. Yep, I'm on it. I 
Yeah, yeah. We should be safe at this range. Hey, where's Claude? Huh? Over there! Claude, you all right? I'll hold them off. You guys get back to the Centurion. The hell is that idiot thinking? Hold on, I'm coming! Raz, no! They've got snipers. They'll shoot you down before you even get here. This can't be happening. We made it this far. What can we do? I'll handle this. That's the Hoffin! Come on, Claude! In, quick! Right. Thanks, Max. I have to apologize, Claude. For what? I couldn't make a decision until it was almost too late. Until Lieutenant Victor called me out. Until she asked me what was most important to me. I had... Don't worry about it. What matters is you're here. It sounds like you figured things out. Yes. I'm going to see this operation through to the end. I want to be there when we end this. Together. I want to fight to the finish. I want to feel that pride. Of course. We're gonna win this, Miles. Together. did it! We really did it! Three cheers for the hero of the Centurion! Well, this is a little much. You are the one who came up with the plan, and you're the one who led us to victory. I think you've earned a little pride, don't you? I don't know. No, you're right. I fought to make this mission a success. That is something to be proud of. Victory is a fine thing. But this win feels a little more significant than usual, wouldn't you say? Claude's precise tactics, the captain's dauntless command... It all meshed together perfectly. I'm sure everyone on the ship is sharing in this victory. In light of this achievement, even I can't deny his ability. This celebration's going to go all night if you don't give them some kind of speech. Me? You gave one just before the mission, didn't you? Surely you can bookend this with another. Uh, fine. Everyone, I'd like to say something. I'm gonna be honest with you all. Even I wasn't sure we could make this. I wondered if we should head back. This ship will keep moving forward, but... When we look to the future, death stares back at us. We carry on, knowing that we may lose our friends. We may lose our own lives. It's terrifying. Sometimes I want to run away from it all, turn this ship around, but, but that's not why we're here. We're here to move forward, to protect families back home, and to carry on the will of our fallen comrades. The captain made a decision. I believed in him. That's all I can ask of you. To believe in his choices and mine. All we can do is work and fight to the best of our abilities. To see that decision to its conclusion. Every soldier on this ship has to stick together, stay strong, and strive toward our goals. Someone has to fight this fight. If we don't take on that burden ourselves, this war will never end. Our 
children, lovers, friends, sooner or later, the war will find them. They will get hurt, and they will die. Until a hero rises to finish the fight, these tragedies will keep happening. We all know that by now. Every one of us can be that hero. We can seize victory with our own hands and end the war once and for all to honor those heroes who have already fallen in battle, to make sure tomorrow's heroes aren't taken from us today. Let's win this and come home with our heads held high, with more honor than any medal can give. Let them tell us that this mission is impossible. We're still going to finish it. We choose victory. Yeah! What's the matter now? Scaredy Claude making a comeback? N no, that's not. You know what to do, Miles. Of course. Camera's all set. All right, boys and girls, gather round. Who wants a picture with a future hero? <laughs> Wait, everyone, please calm down. Hi? Kai? The troops' morale has recovered. I think it's safe to say they've reached a new level of trust, too. Seeing is believing. They needed proof to unite them. Words are rarely enough to earn trust, I think. Actions speak far louder. A victory of this magnitude is just the push our operation needed. Naturally, a single victory and a rousing speech aren't going to solve all our problems. But I'd say that's enough work for one day. Mr. Wallace done a fine job indeed. Hey, wait up! I said wait, damn it! <sighs> Something's going on. What the hell's wrong with you? Let me go. Can't you at least tell me? I said let go! I'll let go if you promise not to just run away again. Come on, what the hell's gotten into you? Please. Just leave me alone. Like hell I will. This is my problem, Raz. It's got nothing to do with you. It's my problem, too. Why? Because I'm... I mean, because you... Because we're friends, aren't we? Friends, huh? <sighs> Fine. You want to know what kind of friend I really am? No. I've betrayed everyone. Claude, Riley, you. It makes sense, right? I never could say no to my brother. Ever since we were little. I'd always do whatever he told me. I was always just his messenger. His helper. I... Lena. But I... I can't take this anymore. I can't do this. I can't just do whatever my brother tells me. I can't keep betraying everyone. <sighs> Get off me! Shut up. Just shut up and stay like this for a second. <gasps> Listen to me, all right? I don't know what you did, and I'm not gonna ask. I don't give a shit, you understand? You're not a traitor. And even if you were, it doesn't matter. 
How could it? I mean, I, ever since we were kids, I... I... I love you. What kind of guy would I be if I can't forgive a single mistake from the girl I love? It's been hard on you, right? And you regret all of it, and you're... You're not gonna do it again, right? Then forget all this shit! You don't have to worry. Nobody's gonna know if you don't say anything. And if you want to vent, I'll always listen. You know Claude and Riley, they don't notice anything. If it all goes to hell, I'll take the blame for you. So you... I mean, you should... You can rely on me as much as you want. Got it? Doesn't matter who I have to fight. The imps, the feds, or... Or even Kai. I'll give my life to protect you. <laughs> so, uh, nothing? I give you my big, dumb, once-in-a-lifetime confession, and you got nothing to say. Don't my ass. Huh? I... what? You dumbass! Keep your voice down! <sighs> How do you expect me to trust some idiot who blurts out confidential information where anyone can hear? But... Thank you. I feel like... I can breathe again. <sighs> About the other stuff... Can I have some time to think it over? Oh shit! I did it! I actually said it! Ha! <laughs> I just heard from Marie. The little girl woke up? She did indeed. I was just finishing a simple checkup. But it does seem like she might have a case of amnesia. <sighs> so, what's your name? Angie. Short for Angelica. Hi, Angie. Do you remember anything besides your name? Hmm. Judging by her appearance, I don't think she's from the Empire. If she doesn't remember anything but her name, we don't have a whole lot to work with. I'm sorry. I'm not good at remembering. Oh no, it's okay. Just take your time. You don't have to try and force it. I'd prefer to have her dropped off at some town. But seeing as we're in enemy territory, that might be tricky. I'm sure the amnesia is only temporary, so I'd say our best choice is to let her rest and keep an eye on her. Can you look after her, Doctor? Leave it to me. I was a pediatrician before all this, if you can believe that. Come on, Riley. Let's get going. All right. Bye, Andy. She's all alone, isn't she? Riley... <sighs> Doctor, is she strong enough to walk? Certainly. Aside from the memory loss, she's got a clean bill of health. Maybe you could show her around the ship a little, Riley. You think that'd be okay? As long as you don't enter the restricted areas. She's been bedridden for a while. Some exercise would do her good. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. What do you think, Angie? Wanna go for a walk with me? Okay! I apologize for my absence. I'm afraid the laboratory called me back in for some time. I've just reviewed the reports. Ship 2 was discovered at the bottom of the crevasse, I believe. Yes, my lord. <laughs> well done. 
Very commendable, you two. Oh. Th thank you, my lord. But, regrettably, I cannot say the same for the choices that followed. <laughs> if you had reported as instructed and followed its course instead of attacking it, they might not have escaped. I believe my instructions were very clear, were they not? Yes, my lord. I'd rather we don't have another miscommunication like this. But you understand, it's because I love the both of you. <laughs> yes, I do this because I love you very, very much. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Now then, let's begin the calibrations. Y yes, my lord. Thank you for your kindness. You needn't thank me. I do all of this for you, my dears. After this, everything should go much more smoothly. Yes, without a doubt. There will be no more failures.